brush painting for beginners. And Easter is about five weeks away. So today we're going to do a simple bunny for the Easter bunny. So this is the one that I did pre-recording and it's on a pea paper. You can either do it on pea paper or um, my paper has a little bit less um, um, running. Oh, it's easier to take the resist water than the um, inside shrimp paper. If you know how to control <coughs> your moisture, shrimp paper would do it too. The other reason we choose that because we're starting to show you some wash techniques and then the shrimp paper will be very difficult to do wash. And then as we go along, I will talk to you some more. Um, the brush I'm going to use today is um, Happy Da and Flow Brush and then um, also the uh, which I don't have it with me. I'll go get it. One more take on the brushes on this subject we're going to do with Flow Brush, Happy Doll for the bunny, and then a wash brush for the background. So this is the two and a half inch wash. So two and a half inch and three inch usually is the most popular size for people do small work. And then if you do large work, you might want to do a little bit uh, bigger than this. And then I'll have a spare uh, flow brush just in case I need it. So this is the brush I need. Flow, happy dot, and two and a half inch wash. And I have the best bottle ink in a dish. This is what it looks like. And give you the best um, ink value, uh, value values. And then I have a little bit carmine for the bunny's ear. And other than that, it's pretty much ink all the way through. And then I have pre-mix a large quantity of green for the wash in the background. And that's it. Very simple, um, very simple equipment. So I'm going to start with the eye of the bunny. I go through the color. And um, so the bunny eyes is like a half circle open to her down. So then I start doing the the line work around the the bunny. This is the mouth of the bunny. And I start hooking it up to the ear.
So I didn't want to be too dark around the face. So I, I rinse the ink off and reload the ink a little bit and then blend. And then I go. Still too dark. So you can see if you have a shrimp paper, it might be just too runny to control it. So and then I'm going to use one of my wash brush, a little bit carmine, darken it with the ink so it's not too bright. This is my here is my bunny ear. And then I'm going to use the line work for the body of the the bunny. This is the back leg. And then I'm going to do a little bit whisker on this bunny. And then I'm going to do another bunny on the back of this bunny. So this is the eye of the second bunny. So um, then I'm going to try to do the mark about the, the ear. So I'm using the same brush, Carmine, the little ink. going to do the ink for the body so complete wash my flow brush maybe I'll change another flow brush just make sure I don't have any red on there and then um, tip with ink and soften it up so back leg now I'm going to use the happy dot to make the face
and then the whisker and then also I have this front leg here So this bunny also need the front leg. So I do the bigger part first and then I do the little part. So the, the four. So I do a little tail here. Okay, then I'm doing the washes on this bunny. So this is my two bunnies and then I will um, use another one that I did ahead of time to show you how to do washes. Oh, I need to accent the, the ear. I did this bunny earlier so I can after so you wanted to wait until your bunny is dry before you do the washes around the bunny so I started with a two and a half inch wash and I load the brush about one third on the corner one side of the wash brush and then I um, mix it up a little bit and then I add a little bit ink to it. Okay, so I will do around the bunny with the side that closer to the bunny is the green. And then whenever I want to make sure that I soften it up, then I use the other side, which has no color. And then if I want to add a little green, then I use the side. Sometimes that you can see there is some texture. If you don't want the texture, you use your flow brush then, and then you can smooth it out. Okay, and then um, I'll wash a little bit green here. Fade it away. And then I use the, the same that where I have the green and I'm loading a little bit ink. Soften it. So now I'm going to do the, the one that I wanted to show the grounding part. So I use the darker side now on the bottom.
you can see I'm not um, level it up. So they're kind of cross over. And then I go here a little bit. So the small areas, you don't want to go over the bunny, then you use your wash, your flow brush, tip down. And then the larger area, you can continue to use the wash brush. Okay. Mm -hmm.